This video will show you how to set up a passive FTP server using FileZilla. So we'll go ahead and do a Google search. We'll just type in FileZilla and then we're going to download the FileZilla server file from the official site. So FileZilla server. Okay, then we want to go ahead and open that and run it as administrator. So right click and run as administrator. Okay, so go ahead and agree to the terms there. Click next on the default, next on your file path, and then you can go ahead and give this a custom port. And we'll just use the default in this example here. Okay, we'll go ahead and install. Okay, now go ahead and create yourself a password. In this example, we're just going to use admin123. Select always connect to the server. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and allow FileZilla through our, our firewall. Okay, go ahead and select change settings. And now make sure FileZilla server is checked for private and public, uh, which it already was in this case here. So OK. And then we'll open the server back up. And we're just going to make a new folder for our directory. OK. We'll call it FTP. Okay, now we'll go to edit and then settings. And you can customize a message here. And we're in passive mode. So this is actually going to be the IP address of your computer. So we'll open up a command prompt and type in ipconfig and this will give us the IP address of our computer. So we'll type in there 192.168.1.38. Select OK. Okay, so now it's enabled and now it's just going to ask us to create a user. So under the general tab, under users, we'll create an account of demo user. And then we'll add the folder to it. This will be the FTP folder that we created on the desktop. Okay, and we'll just give it full access there. And the speed limits, we'll, we'll select so just leave it as default. Okay. Okay, now we'll go into the groups area and we'll create a group. This will just be our general group. Select OK. And then we'll add the same folder to that desktop FTP. And we'll give this one full permissions also. Okay. 
And we'll go back to users. And we'll select that to be under the general group. Okay. okay, now we'll go back to the users area and we'll give this user a password. And for this, we'll just use admin123. Select OK. And that's it for this. Now we'll just go ahead and close out of this and then restore the server session. So you should see it down at the bottom right hand corner. Just right click and select restore.